It feels great to get students engaged. Innately, I believe that they're already engaged. And what we're trying to do is just inspire and really make the topics really interesting so students get excited about learning more. We've got robotics and there's going to be uh, trading games and stock market games. It's going to be amazing. Today it starts off fun and it gets even better. Welcome, welcome to the Discovery Lab. Are you guys excited to be here? Yeah! All right! Well done, well done. So we're really excited to have you here. At Khan Academy, we felt that we needed to have our own version of the summer camp because we had so many ideas that we wanted to test out. What we're really driving towards is individualized and mastery-based learning. One would think that a Khan Academy summer camp could be just kids sitting in front of their computers watching videos. There are videos, and videos are extremely important to help students with self-paced learning. But that goes hand in hand with hands-on projects and activities that really drive the intuition and really get people excited. All entered company. The Discovery Lab will include robotics, computer science, mathematical geometry, probability, and economics, and even more things that we'll add in. Based on this, do you think countries should trade with each other? Yes. So why, why should they trade with each other? Well, maybe we could trade to prevent wars. Well, you brought an interesting point that a lot of people do bring up between trade and countries, that it often makes the countries more stable. If we're reliant on your country for our food and you're reliant on us for your oil, we're unlikely to go to war with each other because we need each other. No, that's fascinating. People, people do PhDs on this. You can't learn these things with lectures. You, you have to learn pretty much almost everything. You have to learn by by doing it, by struggling with it. I mean, because that's what the real world is. The real world, you just engage, you jump into an experience, and your brain starts to draw connections. Your brain starts to struggle with it and says, hey, well, how, how, does this, how does this work? Can I see any patterns here? Can I, can I make any reason out of it? And the other thing that's really important that's not content-based is resilience. These topics are complex topics, and students are going to have to work really hard to be successful, and they just have to try and try again. The summer camp is one of those places where we can allow them to try and try again because we're not set by a particular date where you have to have an examination. We'll say, we'll give you tools to guide you, but you'll have to learn how to figure this out. Right now, we're going to assemble a three-dimensional version of Sierpinski's triangle which is a fractal. It's a chance to take a two-dimensional construct and, and go into three dimensions and give the students a chance to sort of experience it in a way that they probably wouldn't if they were just learning about it in a textbook. In school, I've heard about this stuff. I've read about it, but I never did it. But today, I've been doing it, and now I can actually see what it is. It's more interactive, and you're doing more stuff. You're not sitting down with a piece of paper and a textbook doing math problems. It's more fun here. As we get further along, they'll get a chance to see math in a different way because it's more applied and more hands-on. There's something to be said about just doing it with your hands and taking out the conceptual world, even though it doesn't necessarily translate into a immediate increase in test scores or anything like that. It does translate into some level of excitement in the student, and that is something that you don't measure very often, but it's still really important. Discovery Lab, it's a laboratory not only for the kids, but it's also for us at Khan Academy because what's important for us is not to just run a summer camp. What's important is to understand what it is that works. And if we find activities that work really well, we can try it again in a different summer camp or in a different setting. We believe that we can package this together simply so that there's a curated set of projects that are high quality, highly interactive for teachers to immediately be able to use in the classroom. This is all a work in progress. <laughs> Khan Academy is a work in progress. The summer camps are a work in progress over the course of this year, but definitely by next summer. We're going to have summer camps that go much deeper. A summer camp in writing, summer camp in filmmaking, summer camp in, in music. We really want to explore uh, the experiential side of things, not just in the traditional STEM subjects, really across the board. Great. Thank you, everybody. Onward.